Hey there, tech enthusiasts and AI sceptics alike. Today, we're delving into a topic that's sparking heated debates across the tech community, the open-source release of Meta's Llama 3.1. Is it a groundbreaking move for innovation, or a dangerous gamble that could unleash chaos? Let's get started. This model comes in three sizes, 8 billion, 70 billion, and a whopping 405 billion parameters. It's designed to push the boundaries of what AI can do, from language translation to complex reasoning tasks. According to Meta, Llama 3.1 rivals even the most advanced proprietary models out there, like OpenAI's GPT-4 Omni and Anthropic's Claude 3.5 Sonnet. But here's the kicker. While this open-source release aims to democratise AI and foster innovation, it also opens the door to significant risks. Let's break down why this could be a problem. First, let's talk about who can actually use Llama 3.1. Running the largest version, the 405B model, requires massive computational power. We're talking about systems that cost tens of thousands of dollars and setups involving hundreds of GPUs. This isn't something your average tech enthusiast can manage from their basement. But guess who can afford this kind of setup? State-sponsored actors, terrorist organisations and well-funded criminal groups. Imagine the potential damage if such powerful AI tools fell into the wrong hands. Cyber attacks, misinformation campaigns, even threats to national security, the possibilities are frighteningly endless. History has shown us that technology, when misused, can have devastating consequences. Look at the WannaCry ransomware attack or the Equifax data breach. These incidents caused widespread disruption and financial damage. Now imagine those same bad actors with access to a powerful AI model like Llama. So to all the tech enthusiasts and advocates for open source AI out there, we feel confident that 99.9% .9 of you calling for it want to create something beautiful. You have the best of intentions, and we agree that the big corporations haven't always shown the best judgement when it comes to their tech. And yes, they are looking for max profit. That's what all corporations do. But one thing those big corporations have never done is commit an act of terrorism or attack global banking. While we don't always like their methods, at least we know they don't present a danger on that level. So, you have to ask yourself, if everyone had this technology, how would you, those who have the best of intentions, plan to prevent hackers, terrorists and rogue states from weaponizing this innovation? It's easy to talk about the benefits, but what about the risks? No doubt this debate will continue. We certainly aren't claiming to have the answers, but as always, our goal is to prompt discussion. Thanks for watching, stay informed and stay ahead. They hate that. Ciao. Your support means everything to us. Please hit that like button and if you have not already please subscribe. See you next time.